Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about why it's so important to share your story on Instagram. Now, before I forget, I want you to download my free guide that is linked above. It's my exact guide on how to share a story. So to grab that download, you wanna to go to bit.ly forward slash your words matters to us. Again, that's bit.ly forward slash your words matters to us. So you might wanna share your story on Instagram for one of two reasons. Either you want to share your story in order to empower your followers, or you wanna share your story so that way you can connect with your audience further. And that way, if they wanna buy something from you or if they wanna view your content, um, they know who they're dealing with and why they should pay attention. So those are like two of the main reasons why you might want to share your story on Instagram. Um, also, I want to go over three things. Again, this is in the guide. So in order to share your story, you need three things. One might be which stories of your life are of growth? What can people learn from from you? Also, number two is what stories can people relate to? What can you share that may not be a teaching moment but it actually allows people to be like oh yeah she's cool like or he's cool like i want to learn more from them or i want to talk to them more about things because they understand me they get it that's what you want your followers to feel when they're looking at your content number three is personality we cannot show up on our social media dry and expect people to listen to us or watch us or read whatever we have to say so we have to make sure that our personality who we are shines through our stories because whatever we are i don't care what profession we are there are plenty of people out there with that same profession so how you choose to stand out is through your story and when you clearly communicate your story you are able to uh, be successful in gaining an audience and gaining clients all right so let's take a deeper look inside of this. So when I said what stories are of growth and what was a hard lesson you learned. So think about um, a time that you were discouraged and you didn't know if you would be able to go on. Like we all have stories of discouragement, but all of our stories of discouragement are different. You know, maybe we didn't get straight A's and we're fighting really hard to get straight A's so that we can go on that, you know, cool trip. That was like something that really happened in high school a lot. Like they would have a competition, like whoever um, got straight A's or whatever class was on their best behavior, they got a pizza party. So maybe something, you know, in adult time would be like, I didn't get that promotion. I applied for this job. I applied for this promotion, but they didn't think I was qualified and I really feel bummed out. Um, and then people can go back and be like, well, I went back and I studied whatever I had to study for whatever qualifications I needed and I passed. Like I do know somebody, I met someone actually um, in a business meeting who was going after her securities license because she's in the financial industry. She failed the test um, two times and if she failed one more time, she would have to wait months to take that test again. And she didn't see that as an option because not only did she want to make money, but she wanted to help as many families as possible to invest because investing and investments doesn't really come naturally to everyone. So it's like, before you can even sell that to people, you have to take a test, you have to take an exam. And you know, she stayed up, she lost a lot of time, she lost a lot of hours, but she persevered. You know, she, you know, still went on her regular business appointments. She didn't incentivize herself so she didn't do her nails she didn't do her hair she didn't do anything like she made sure she looked presentable she's like no i'm not going to treat myself until i pass this exam and so hearing that story can easily empower somebody to go after something that they're interested in or some sort of promotion or, or something that'll make them feel good so that is why you want to share stories like that and it doesn't necessarily have to be about a test it can just be something of empowerment or just something that you want to succeed on maybe a personal goal maybe a development goal so just think about that when you're sharing your stories how can you encourage someone else to go after what they want to do a great way to do this or a great way to start with this is to start in your niche you know in a few videos i have talked about niche so much now because that's really important you want people to come to you for the right thing you want to be known for a particular type of thing think about the brazilian hairstylist people know when they go there they want to get a brazilian um blowout and so they're not gonna necessarily go there 
to get twists or to get braids. So it's like you want to specialize in something. So that way when people come to your channel, they know exactly what type of content under what specific category they're going to come to you for. So me, for example, people know to come to me for journalism, people know to come to me for social media, and some people even come to me for finances. So I've established myself in those industries so that people can come to me and get the help that they specifically need from me. Um, that is another part of branding. And so you want to think about what qualities do you want to exhibit on social media that you're able to communicate with your audience and they have this sort of feeling when they come to your page? What feeling do you want them to have? So when people come to my page, I want people to be motivated. I want people to know that I'm resilient and I'm uh, encouraging them to be resilient and whatever goals that they have and, and whatever obstacles they have to face I want people to be excited like I'm people that know me know that I'm a very bubbly person I'm very happy um, even when I'm down I still try to encourage others you know to be happy so I want people to feel that when they come to my page my feed is bright and colorful so I'm able to exhibit that and show people that on my page also, people know about modest fashion. I am a church girl, and so I have to dress modestly. So people know when they come to my page, I'm going to be covered. I'm not going to be, you know, just showing skin and, and stuff like that. I'm not judging other people that decide to do that. But people know when they come to me, I'm going to be modest. So that's another thing. I love modest fashion. Modest fashion is fun to me. That can, I wear colorful clothing, and so that all ties with my brand. Also, I can talk about you know being a solopreneur because not everybody I know is an entrepreneur and so I can say you know just because like it's not a commonality or it's not common in my social circles or in my family um, it could be a little bit lonely so I might appeal to other solopreneurs all right so which of your stories can people relate to this is a different category so a few weeks ago Kylie Jenner went live with her best friend and they played a game of would you rather it wasn't business driven. It wasn't um, something that was of much importance, but they were able to play a game and have their followers know a little bit more about them, like maybe finding out if they rather climb a tree or climb a mountain or, you know, something that's unpleasant. You guys know that play would you rather games. Um, that's a really good way to even bond with your friends even more because you guys may find out things about each other that you may have necessarily not known before. So that's a fun thing to do. Um, you may find that your followers agree with the certain decisions that you made also as well so you can see like whose thought processes are similar and whose are different and believe it or not that's how me and my choir kind of bonded because other than bonding and rehearsal we have this group chat and so everybody basically talked to each other and said what is your perspective on this what is your perspective on that what would you do if this happened to you um and so that was a really good way for us to bond and to talk through different problems that we may face in the future or problems that we've already experienced it was a great way to connect and to bond another way to share your story is to share small wins right it doesn't have to be like oh i became a millionaire you want to use things that are more appealing and better for your audience, more attainable, I want to say. And it's not to say that you can't share millionaire um, type of stories or your drive to be a millionaire, but you want to share like small wins that you learn throughout the day. It could be something as small as I learned how to get to this place on campus a lot faster than I usually do, or I learned a different way to get home in time for dinner, or I learned a system to be able to talk to my friends take care of the kids and also, you know, have me time. That is a good way of something to share with people because a commonality is that a lot of people don't have time to do much of anything. And so sharing your system of how you go about your day, how you schedule out your time is very helpful for the people that are listening to you. And also what I want to say is when you share your story, you may encourage other people to share their story with you as well. You want to keep an open room for people to talk to you about your story so that way you might can bond or you might can encourage them to do something great. So another piece of this is when you share your story, you want to invite other people to share their story with you because that is bonding, that's connecting. Like, you know, when you're meeting someone for the first time, you're not just talking endlessly about yourself. You're there. It's an equal exchange. People are talking about themselves. You are talking about yourself as well. And this kind of is similar to 
the aspect of how if you're scrolling on Instagram and you might see that your friend liked the photo, you might be like, oh, okay, I wonder what this photo is. And then you actually pay attention to it more because you see a friend of somebody that you know next to that post or that they like the post. So that might encourage you to like the post as well. So it's kind of similar in that regard. Now you want to infuse your personality into your stories as well. Um, I'm a journalist and so there are plenty of there are a plethora of journalists out there, but we all do something different. I focus on community journalism and other journalists, they might do entertainment news. And so if someone comes to my page and they're more interested in what Cardi B is doing or Jennifer Lopez is doing, they may not tune into my page if I have journalistic articles about what's happening in my community in Delaware. And that's why you wanna be very mindful of sharing your personality and sharing your story. And I expand on this very thing in my program, Social Media Confidential, which I hope you join me for, uh, because I think this is really important. Um, it's kind of hard for people to come across as human, um, especially if they have a business or something like that. And so that's why I work on that specific thing in detail. We all have a different story that we can share with people in order to achieve a specific goal. And so you just have to think about what do I add differently to the world? You just really think about that and you'll be able to come up with something. And plus your stories are already inside of you. So you really don't have to do too much hard work. It's just, you know, communicating it. That's what I specialize in helping people with. So what is something that people don't know about you? My friend has a photographic memory and I never knew that until a few weeks ago when I interviewed him. And so that's a unique perspective because the only other person that I know that has a photographic memory is a character off of Criminal Minds, which would be Spencer Reed. So to actually see somebody in real life that has a photographic memory, that's really cool. And then you can connect with somebody in that way. And so different places that you can share your story is here on the Instagram feed, also through a video on IGTV, which this video is also on. Um, you can also share your story on YouTube. It's very easy. And I just wanna let you know that IGTV is basically the baby version of YouTube. So it's like, if you're not ready to start a YouTube channel, you can start right here on Instagram and make a short video just saying 25 facts about you or 25 things that people don't know about you. Like really engage with your audience and see what they want to learn from you um, and if they don't respond right away don't be discouraged they might just need to see a little bit of your content to get a sense of what they want to see or what they want to learn from you um, you also can share it to Instagram stories I tell my students you know share your what you're doing throughout the day on Instagram stories it's not hard you just take the phone hold it and you just talk to it like you're talking to your best friend. Um, that way, when people come to your page, they feel like they're talking to their best friend, if that makes sense. You can also share your story through DM. I'm not saying slide into people's DMs and be like, hey, this is my whole life story. No, I'm not saying that. But if somebody asks you a question, you might be able to tie a story in in order to help them. You want to come from a place of service. And that way, you'll know what story to share. You won't have a pre-written story in your head like, I'm gonna share the story with them today. No, like it really depends upon uh, what feedback you get um, as well as people coming to you. Thank you for listening and watching to this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're on YouTube and follow me on Instagram if you want to see more tips and you found this video to be helpful. I'll see you soon.